everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Today, we're going to try out Nilgal, and I've heard he's really difficult, so I just want to try a fun team. This isn't going to be a triple S guide or anything. I'm just going to go in semi-blind and uh, have some fun. So we know that we can't really use Thieves. Uh, we know that we need at least one Knight, and we know that we need to decrease attack. So we're going to do it with this ridiculously stupid team. It was just a bunch of people. Oof, not this one. It was just a bunch of people I really felt like using. Um, one of them being Cecilia. She's my knight. She also has my attack down. One of them being Sermia, who is not geared enough whatsoever. And the other being Kitty Clarissa, because... I don't know. I wanted to use Kitty Clarissa. So let's take a look at his abilities here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, he looks pretty cool. He looks like he should be like a world boss of sorts, you know? Like, you look like he should be facing toward us. He should be our world boss. Uh, okay, so we've got Restrict. When an enemy uses a non-attack skill, increases the combat readiness by 20%. Decreases damage inflicted by debuffed enemies by 30%. Combat readiness of the caster by 15%. Damage reduction applies even when in Weaken. Oh, God. Oh god, are we playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, becomes immune to poison and is unaffected by increase in damage proportionate to max HP. Uses Agisid Rain at the start of the battle and resets the caster's skills cooldown whenever the battle progression changes. Grants the caster stackable attack and crit chance. Um, okay. Attacks all enemies with Acid Rain with a 50% chance to inflict poison for two turns or transferring one debuff to all enemies. Jesus. Um, explodes, Venom, and attacks, detonating poison effects before granting the caster skill nullifier, negating damage received from the next skill attack. Damage dealt increases proportion to the number of debuffs inflicted on the enemy, attacks the front row first. Oh Jesus, Toxic uh, Breath attacks all enemies with Toxic Breath, making them unhealable for two turns regardless of whether this attack hits. Before dispelling all of the targets buffed and inflicting poison effects equivalent to the number of dispelled buffs for three turns. Okay, so those are our skills. Can anyone repeat anything I just said? Because I can't. I have no idea what this boss does. Um, this is why I don't read abilities. Literal zero clue. I know he does some poisons. I know he transfers debuffs. I know he steals debuffs. I know there's a bunch of um, CR stuff. Um, but I don't really know what's going on here, to be honest. So we're just gonna... Um, we're just gonna play a little, I guess? Uh, I feel like Tamarin without Iceria is going to be a little difficult here. Uh, and I don't want to use her skill one yet. I kind of want to save her stuff too, so I'm just going to do some auto attacks. Did you just say squirm pig? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, so let's try to get an attack down. So she's just not reliable at all. It's like a 40% chance. Um, probably not going to happen. These are going to pop into Azamanic Watchers soon. We also have decreased everything when we're poisoned, right? We're like literally just decreased everything. And he gets CR when we use a non-attack move. Um, sure, let's loveliness. Meow. So we'll get rid of all of our debuffs. Do a little combo attack with Sermia. Do those things not transform, I'm guessing? So we got defense down. Um, I kind of want to proc our skill 3 before we go into the burn phase. Uh, we also need to... Make sure there's poison debuff. So I'm not going to kill the boss. Uh, I, I hope I can hit those guys. I hope they're like a punching bag. Because we want to go in with the... Oh, he's got um skill immunity now. Yeah, because we, we need to hit this. If this doesn't... Yeah, so, geez, so this is where I would usually just reset, um, but we're just going to push just to see what this is like. I shouldn't have pushed there, I should have pushed after Tamarin, by the way, because we wasted two turns. Um, actually, do we want to reset, because that was really bad. 
Because we waste two turns here. We're going in with no attack break. We're losing 50% damage. We're losing all of the things. Um, at least we have one turn of loveliness. Yeah, we've got one turn of loveliness here. Problem with Cecilia is she's kind of useless. Um, not just here. Everywhere, actually. Uh, but especially here right now. Especially if she doesn't land her... Defense down. So I don't really want to use my skill too because it takes a turn. Now is the time of judgment. Jeez. And we don't have our loveliness buff. Um, so I'm just gonna attack. Maybe get a force duel attack accidentally. Nope. Okay, so we did like 700k damage. Um, usually I do like 1.1 million, so this is gonna be harder than expected. I won't be defeated. Um. <laughs> so what's the strat here, team? Oh, yeah. There's there's a decrease attack. Nice job, uh, Cecilia. Obviously, this team is not the strat. But uh, like, what's the what's the strat you are using? Um, I just realized he's got these skill things, so um, get that greater attack buff. Just a miss. I'm going to auto. I'm going to see if we can auto. Uh, I'm going to see what happens when we auto just to take a look at this. I have a little bit of lag, too. Let me let me close some things. Meow. Oh, it's bad if we hit those, right? Because hitting those does something negative, I think. Pretty much just playing the game does something negative against this guy, uh, is what we've figured out so far. Defense, cool. Get some attacks in, cool. Squirm, pigs. Okay, so this guy is, like, infinitely harder than k so far. Like, actually infinitely harder. And, like, it's a mix of things, right? Because it's not only is this uh, an Earth unit instead of fire. So we can't use our SS Bologna. We can't use our Dizzy. Um, I'm still not really sure what he does. And maybe it's just this week, too. Because uh, trying to get decreased attack is not exactly ideal. Especially when you have to bring a knight. Um... The knights just don't really do too much. Then again, if you had Charles, he'd probably do some things. Uh, but not many other knights, I feel, would do too much. But as long as we can auto this, maybe get an S. You know, maybe we'll get an S. I doubt it, but we're probably going to get like a... So like, judging by how much damage is being done, we're probably not even going to kill it, right? We're going to like wipe before the end. Meow meow. How about we try a little harder? Can you hold out much longer? Show me bet on it. Okay, okay, it's almost time to get that decreased attack buff down. So we're gonna manual the, the rest here just to try to get uh, Cecilia doing Cecilia things. Oh right, he detonates poisons. That is bad news. Okay, we got the we got it. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna stay because he's gonna go next. So I did it one tune too early. I will be victorious. Okay. Um. Let's go, Kitty Clarissa. I guess. Let's go, Kitty Clarissa. Are we dead? I don't think we're dead. A lot of debuffs. And we have, like, two full clears right now. Um, so maybe if I had, like, Isaria here instead, we would be doing a little better. Because Isaria would be able to uh, have Tam just going back and forth, right? 
Okay, so we're, as long as we don't die here, is this the explode, the detonate? No, it's not the detonate. As long as we don't die here, we're in a decent spot. Um, assuming we land the decreased attack. Oh, maybe not. I thought that would push us ahead. Oh, they get CR when they combat readiness. Nice. Nice game. So we're going to attack this. We are going to decrease attack buff. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're not going to hit that. So we're just going to auto. Uh, we lose our 50% damage. It's so hard to land that debuff. Like, I like the idea behind um, having to have specific units and debuffs, but like... It is really hard to land the debuff, even if I had two people doing it, you know? Like, it's it's not easy. And this is kind of one of the reasons um, that Cecilia is not so great, because all of the things she does, she just, like, half does them. Um, so, so many times she just doesn't do anything. Uh, Kitty Clarissa is going to meow, meow, meow soon. Wow, 1.36 million. That's as much damage as I sometimes have done when um when I'm done the first phase with Kron. So like Wondrous Potion wouldn't do anything here either. Cuz you you just need full clears, right? Cuz Wondrous Potion isn't going to do anything either. Sam's dead, right? No, not yet, not yet. As long as she has her thing up, nice. Poor people without Tam. Oh my god. <laughs> How would you clear all these things? I guess maybe like Destina's skill 3 with the um, artifact? Maybe a ton of immunity? Maybe Momo doing some stuff? Because I, I have two clears, right? And I can't keep debuffs off me to save my life. Then again, as I look at this team, I guess I have three people that trigger his CR, right? Because he gains a bunch of CR if we um, use a non-combat skill. And I do have Sermia using her skill too. I do have um, Tamarin using her skill three. And I do have Kitty Clarissa using her skill three. So, like, maybe my team just really sucks. Also, um, we're dead now. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so 1.42 million, and we died. Um, this was really interesting. Uh, this is uh, much more difficult than I expected. Uh, and I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. I I'm going to upload this video like this. This isn't a guide, like I said. This is just like a me going in semi-blindly and seeing what Nilgal's all about. So uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you manage to triple S this, or hell, if you manage to even like S or double S this, I'd love to hear it. And I'm going to go play around with my units a little bit more and try um, a little bit more uh, off stream here or off, off video. And also having Lilias on Wednesday. It's probably no coincidence that we're getting Lilias on Wednesday, theoretically, and um, night heroes are increased. Like, there's probably, that's probably not a coincidence. Let's just say that. Um, they've been known to like make things really hard and then release something in the summons that kind of helps you do it. Uh, so I fully expect that to be very much useful here. So, anyways. Uh, that was just some fun shenanigans and holotrials. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.